<coughs> right. Hi guys, Adam and Daryl here from Welcome to Travel. Uh, we are coming at you live from a bus. We're live. We're live. Oh, yes. we're, we're live. live. This is live. <laughs> This is live. Uh, live from a bus, uh, we've got a tour upcoming. We've just come to pick our bus up, and we thought, why not film from a bus? Bit You're celebrating, this. aren't you? I'm celebrating. This is my first Ash travel with an Australian passport. I've just picked up my Australian passport. So, despite the, the accent, I'm now fully Aussie. There's a picture, just a quick one of you. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be showing you that. So, Ash Travel, if you've not seen it before, it's the only personalised Australia travel forum. You ask us the questions by writing them in the comments, then the following week we answer them. So we've got some great questions, we answer one major question each, and then we have a quick fire round each for a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Mr. Daryl Newby a question me? first, a fellow Australian passport holder. Daryl, 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 what shall I ask you here? We have a question from Ben Webster. Question, he asks, driving from Melbourne to Sydney, as many of us are right now, where do you lads suggest people stopping along the way? Cheers. No, oh, thank you, Ben. All right, good question, Ben. Um, it is, does seem to be quite popular nowadays, driving from Melbourne to Sydney. You can get an overnight bus, that is a, that's still possible, but if people are like um, ride sharing, I would, rather than going directly to Sydney uh, from Melbourne, I would recommend going down onto the south coast and going to a place called Wilson's Prom. Uh, one of the most undervalued places in all of Australia. It is like the most southern tip of mainland Australia and there's some beautiful hikes around there. So much wildlife you can go and see like wombats, kangaroos and I went for a hike just recently and pretty much had a five kilometer beach all to myself and my girlfriend as well and it was like stunningly beautiful then i would go inland rather than doing the coastal route um you can go past like the capital city canberra not too much here i'm going to be completely honest uh, but also around there you've got like the snowfield so you've got the highest mountain in all of australia mount kosciusko and around there you have a place called fredbo and uh, jindabyne where you can go snowboarding in around one month one month's time and then go via the blue mountains or like jervis bay as you're getting closer to sydney that is my tip cool yeah. good tip. Good, good question ben um question. right now I've got one for My you, turn. Adam. I'm very nervous. I've had like I had this lined up before. Um, what are your oh from Jean Jean Hermenier? I'm gonna say that's Jean Hermenier. Yeah. Don't we should Ben Webster should have been Daryl's. So just stick with the <laughs> English sounding names. <laughs> uh, what are your right. best budget tricks to travel? Best budget. Oh, I should have asked you because you're really tight. Um, best budget tricks to travel. Yeah. Um, I would say value the important things. Like you don't have to kind of treat yourself so often. So if you can save a few dollars a night um, consistently from staying in like a eight, ten bed dorm, probably do that. If you can save yeah six, seven dollars a night rather than staying in a four bed, you don't really need to that luxury each time you're staying there for a couple of nights. You're going to be staying with other people, whatever. So do that. Um, share meals with people. So if you're in a group four, five, six, one of you cook one night, one the next night. Never let him cook, but just like keep cooking between you. Um, overnight buses are a good way. Um, yeah. Um, maybe don't spend so much money on Wi-Fi. Use free Wi-Fi. Like you don't take in what's around you. Speak to people. Um, and then, yeah, another good tip would be to pre-drink before you go out and take advantage of any free drink, free food offers. If there's a free food or drink offer in your hostel or bar, go and do it. And, yeah, keep your money for the big ticket things, your skydives, your bungees, your life-changing things. You don't go home and tell people how great your steak dinner was for $30 down near the opera house or something. You tell people about the time you skydived. That's a really good answer. That's it. Just to breathe. Just yeah, just breathe, breathe there. in there. Breathe in. Cool. All right, now we've got the uh, quick fire questions. I know you. Quick like... fire questions. I've got some great quick fire questions for Daryl here. Yeah. Um, All right, wait, wait, wait. Minute, minute, minute. Minute. Because. Oh, it's not awkward, isn't it? Go on, do it's, that. It's your phone. It's my fingerprint. All right. Three, two, one, go. Daryl, where can I dive with sharks? 
You can dive with uh, great white sharks in Port Lincoln, which is in South Australia, but you can also go snorkeling with whale sharks in Western Australia near Exmouth. Cool. So the Ningaloo Reef. Cool. Yeah. Ningaloo Reef, sorry. Can you ski in Australia? Yes, you That's can. Yeah, I've already answered that. Um, yeah, in a few different places. There's also Mount Buller as well, just three hours uh, east of Melbourne. Cool. How long would you recommend in Thailand? Thailand, uh, I would recommend at least two weeks. Uh, I would say four if you're going down to the islands and also to the north, like in places like Chiang Rai and Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai and Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai. Cool. What's the best party town in Australia? Um, probably Darwin or Cairns for a big night out, yeah. And last but not least, is your hair receding? That's a minute. <laughs> That's a minute. That's a minute. That's a minute. <laughs> That's a minute. Don't worry about that. Uh, Who asked that one? The, from yeah. the last question might have just been for me. Right, um, oh. <laughs> right. You ready? Like, yeah. Let's put that on. I'm ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Um, what's your favourite city in Melbourne, uh, in Australia <laughs> after Melbourne? Adelaide. It's like a mini Melbourne. All right. Nice people as well. Uh, what's the best national park in Australia, in your opinion? Kakadu. Kakadu, yeah. Very different to any national park in Australia or possibly the world. So, yeah, Kakadu. Up near Darwin. Uh, where's good for live music in Melbourne? Uh, north side of the city, you've got Old Bar, you've got Yaya's, you've got all kinds of things. Howler. And then, yeah, in Richmond, you've got the corner. Even And then, yeah, you've got stuff all the time. North side mainly in Melbourne. What about in the city? Cherry in the city, Cherry Bar, uh, Forum. All right, all right. Yeah. Do, do you have an AFL team? St Kilda, we won't talk about that, not very good. And do you condition your beard? Occasionally, yes. Oh. Yeah. Who, who knew? That's um, all I've got. Yeah. That's all I've got. Cool, I like that. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, as uh, Adam said at the start, we do this weekly, so what we need are more questions. So if you comment below, with a question, we will look to answer them. Yeah, comment below and we'll answer them. And keep sending the funny ones, we like them as well. And yeah, maybe explain how your name's pronounced, um, yeah, for just me. in case Daryl's going to yeah. answer it as well, that'd be great. But anyway, uh, cool. thank you for your questions anyway. Thank you very much, and, and we'll see you next week. Cheers, bye. Bye.